Well, I really like the tempo with which the guys are practicing. I think they're, 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 they have a high level of concentration. There's a lot of enthusiasm, and I'm really pleased with the effort. You know, we're still learning in some positions, and, and obviously some positions are a little bit further along than others. But overall, I'm very happy with the way that we're executing out here. Well, the, the secondary is a group that, that's young, but it has a high level of experience, you know, for, you know, Good or bad, we were able to play a lot of young guys last year, and I think they gained valuable uh, experience on the field. And I think that experience is starting to show right now. Also, last fall was the first time that they were with Coach Lakatos, and I think now that they've been with him through a season, through the winter, and, and early in the spring here, I, I really see they're starting to get a high comfort level there, and they're, they're really executing well. Well, there's several new techniques that the guys are utilizing, and I think they're, they're finally getting comfortable with those. And I think a lot of the nuances of the coverages, they're, they're feeling a lot more comfortable with. Well, you know, Mike is just a natural player in the secondary, and that's something that we recognized uh, early on in his freshman year. You know, that resulted in him in playing at a high level as a freshman, and he came back as a sophomore and, and, and really exceeded what he did as a freshman. So we're really expecting big things from Mike. We like his leadership out here. He's very knowledgeable. He's, he kind of gets that group lined up. He's the quarterback of that unit, if you want to say that, and uh, really happy with the way he's playing. Well, I think, you know, in all the positions in the secondary, there's a, there's a great deal of competition, and I think that's a good thing. You know, Lakeith uh, got a taste of uh, uh, some game action last year, and he performed fairly well, and we're really looking for him to take his game to yet another level. Uh, he's being pushed by a number of other guys, but, you know, so far I like the way he's out here competing. Well, when we looked at the personnel in the defensive secondary, our, our goal was to get the best players on the field and have our best four or five ready to go. And one of the moves that we considered was trying some of the corners, and in particular Marcus Leslie at the safety position. So that's a bit of an experiment that we're running right now, and we really like what we're seeing out there. He seems to be a natural at the position. He's making a lot of plays, and he covers an awful lot of ground back there. And really the, the learning curve has not been that steep at all for him. He's very knowledgeable. He's an instinctive player, and he's really got a good feel for playing in the middle of the field. He, you know, the thing that's uh, deceptive about Marcus is everybody thinks he's a corner, but he's a very physical player. He's an excellent tackler. And, uh, you know, I think he's going to fit in very well in that position. It's going well. You know, we put in a lot of new stuff, but I think as a, as a group and all, you know, we're just learning out here. We're just trying to get better. You know, right now it's just a learning process because we're getting ready for the season. So every step that we're taking right now is just to get better for the season. You know, he really brought a, a change up because we, uh, not saying we didn't do a lot when uh, Coach Class was here, but he changed it up a little bit. We're doing a little bit more stuff, a lot more stuff that we have to pay attention to, more technique stuff and more stuff that brings the whole defense in. It's harder for the offense to make plays. So, you know, he really just sees about the defense making plays, and that's the biggest thing on the defensive side. You know, everything's the same. You know, my mindset is to get better every day. You know, everything I go to, I try to work to get better every single day. So my process right here is just to get better for the season. So every day is the same thing. You know, I try to help them a lot. You know, whenever they need any questions or anything on the field, off the field, I want to be there for them. I want to help them. I want them to look at me as a leader. Yeah, my boy Agby, Mungy Mark, you know, Marcus Leslie, he got the transition to uh, free safety. So that's a new for him, but he's been killing it back there. And, you know, Agby is always around there making plays. I think Darren. Darren definitely my favorite because he's always competing. You know, he's always trying to make me better. He's always out there working hard every day. He's not going to take a playoff. So I think that's the best receiver I like going up against. Uh, we have big goals just to be more polished as a player and as a team to uh, work more cohesively. Um, oh, that helps a lot. Um, it makes our jobs that much easier. Uh, the D-line uh, rushes to get to the quarterback quick, so we only have to cover it for so long. So that really helps. And I mean, shout out to the D-line. Uh, my boy Teddy, shout out to Teddy and um, Tymere. Um, he's a young player. I think he's really uh, transitioned from quarterback to receiver to D back. So I think that's tremendous that he's um, earned his starting role. And yeah, he's still upcoming. He's still learning. He's just getting better every day. So I would say Reg, Reggie, and and Dev, just because Dev's always joking and he always has these clean routes that he has uh, for us. And Reggie is just a big receiver, and I feel like. Uh, Going against him only makes sense.